lot of the golf is. So, uh, yeah, pretty interested in that regard. There's a lot of, um, you know, that that's a good sign that we have a pretty major hurricane when you see differences in that, uh, the temperature that contrast with the eye wall. So, uh, uh, um, yeah, we, we haven't talked a whole lot about the slosh. Nelson was in last night and talked about the slosh. He mentioned it this morning because he did the slosh for some people that were going to be down there. And at that point, that was before this actually bumped up to a monster. Um, the slosh showed uh, some, you know, like uh, I think it was 10 to 15 foot storm surge for them uh, where they were going to be. So anyway, yeah, that uh, that run that slosh model that'll scare the heck out of you at this you point, end. huh? How do you yeah, I like you know I've seen some picture samples of the model uh, here uh, as to what uh, how it could affect things. Um, you know, I know there was also talk about the Superdome. The Superdome is supposed to be able to take winds up to 200 miles an hour. I'm sure it'll survive. I saw a couple of posts from some other places. People, ah, the Superdome is going to be destroyed. Ah, you know, um, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, it could end up going into New Orleans. I could be wrong. I just think it's going to bend to the right at the last moment. But I'm not at all certain about it. This is just my forecast. And, uh, you know, a difference of 50 or 75 miles is going to make a big, huge impact in New Orleans. I, w I do think New Orleans is going to see hurricane force winds. Um, I think they'll see sustained hurricane force winds. And I think areas east of New Orleans are going to see a lot worse than areas west of New Orleans. Uh, so whether or not this counts as a direct hit, you know, people are going to be arguing that left and right here. Uh, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. So if you want to take a break, I'm up for that. I have to go get some brunch and go take care of your kid a little bit. So I'll probably be back in a little while. Sounds good, Dave. Thanks so much for stopping in and, and uh, passing on your thoughts. There's so much value to hear. By the way, Dave uh, is, uh, is uh, actually have a website. It's uh, wxrisk.com, wxrisk.com, weatherrisk.com. Um, he does a, uh, a lot of forecasting for a variety of different clients and uh, some good information you can get if you go to that website, undoubtedly. So, in fact, Dave actually has a show here. Gosh, forever mind, Dave. <laughs> You're such a humble guy. Uh, Dave's got a show that's on Friday nights called Weather, Weather Fights with, by DT, uh, with DT, and, uh, um, and his name's Dave Valeris once again. It's a great show. We had, uh, we had thousands of listeners on Friday night. I think we had well over 4,000 listeners at that point. It was just, it was a great show, uh, and, uh, Good, good stuff. So uh, anyway, uh, before we take the break, I happen to see Michael Moss in here, and uh, Michael Moss is a valued contributor here, and he's going to come in for a couple seconds, and and I'm just going to let it convey his thoughts. I'm I'm sure he's got some some words to say. Um, go ahead, Michael. Well, thanks, Paul. And uh, yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah, I was one of the few on the air here when the. I should say few. Uh, there was quite a few of us here on the air when the same came Category 5. Folks, this is probably going to be the most destructive storm in U.S. history. 175 miles an hour with gusts to 200 miles an hour, folks. This is, if there's any way, if you're hearing this, that you can get out of Dodge, get out now. Uh, it's already too, You're already looking at a, a case where it may already be too late to get out, but if you can't... Try, try, try to do whatever you can to get away from the path of the storm. Get yourself on top of a thirty, uh, thirty-story high building. Do something. Get out of the way of the storm. Do not get go into the floodwaters from the storm. I mean, this the storm has the potential to kill to kill many people. It already has killed nine people in the state of Florida, and it, this is about the most classic-looking most powerful storm I have ever seen in my entire life. This thing is worse than Camille, folks. Take shelter immediately. Just get away from it. I, I don't know what else to say about it, Paul. It's, it's just to totally incredible. I've, I've got, I still got to get some more sleep, you know that? <laughs> You're not alone, dude. I, 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 what are you talking about? You need more sleep. I, I didn't get to bed till almost 4 and did a podcast before I got off to bed at 2 a.m., and, and which came out late because it was a special statement. And, and I was up and rolling here about 8 o'clock, uh, not my usual 6 a.m. It was uh, a little rough in that regard. But, uh, yeah, well, I hear you, buddy, and I, and I, I sent your tone. That's right. I 
Mike Nasos had the same thing. Pretty, you know, there comes a point here with Anastasia that we've we've come up with so many adjectives and whatnot. We're almost running out. It's just a, you know, it's a jaw dropping thing. It's a, we're all everybody's impressed, and that's pretty much uh, meteorologists once again throughout the world have got to be impressed with what they're witnessing in the Gulf of Mexico today. Um, yeah, well, we were we were getting ready to take a break pretty soon. We don't have to take one now, but I want to take a pretty good break. And then, uh, of course, we've got another advisory coming out. Uh, um, it, hopefully it will be out in about a half an hour, but not quite. Um, I see Mike Naso is back here. Um, um, did, did the president speak, Mike, yet? Uh, and did, uh, did, uh, yeah, did you get that recorded? <laughs> or, you know, well, what's up? Did you have some more, some, something you want, some input maybe? I'm not exactly sure if he's spoken yet. There's some confusion. There's uh, He spoke about the hurricane in an address earlier, and then they played the video of the address, and so I'm not sure if, if he's actually going to have a press conference about it. I believe he may have already done that. Either way, uh, you know, basically what he said is what I think everybody would agree with here. This is a Category 5 hurricane. Anybody in the path uh, needs to get out now. Uh, this hurricane means business, and I mean, uh, is expected to make landfall on the northern Gulf Coast. It's a catastrophic, life-threatening hurricane. And Dr. Steve Lines even mentioned that if it held uh, this intensity or got stronger, we could actually have a 30-foot storm surge along the coast, which would be just devastating. Yep, um, I think you know that's well within the realm when they when they go to 28 feet. Ah, what's a couple more feet? So you know, I, I, and and my, I mean, that could even rise further. I guess you know, I mean, if this did strengthen, which is a possibility, not everyone feels that it was going to do that. I think everybody is mentioning weakening. You know, that they constantly mentioning the weakening way more than they're mentioning strengthening anymore. And yeah, that's probably a lot of logic to it because it's it's such a machine right now. And uh, they don't always stay that strong, but I mean, as as did happen with the mentioning before, it it went up. It was 15 to 20, and then now uh, you know it it went it goes to uh, you know 18 to 22. And uh, you know the fact is is uh, there is the, a possibility it could be stronger. Whether that happens is uh, is up in the air for sure. Most likely a weakening would be more reasonable. But the point is is uh, it's open and and it's it's a pretty serious. Uh, Pretty serious uh, uh, storm surge there. Well, we'll find out what uh, what more of the president. I'm sure yeah, I can understand what you're saying, and if he's got a press conference, we'll definitely try to pass that information on here more so if there's any more related to that. But right now, I think uh, we're going to take a break, and uh, uh, we'll be back in a little bit, and uh, pretty soon the, the the latest information from the National Hurricane Center will come out in probably about a half hour. Or so it's actually that scheduled for about. Uh, uh, 40 minutes here or so, but uh, we usually get a little ahead of the game here at Radio NCWX. You've been watching special coverage of Hurricane Katrina as uh, this serious hurricane is heading for the northern Gulf Coast uh, of the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, um, stay tuned. We're just going to take a break here for a little while, and we will be back. Bringing you extreme weather coverage to your computer. This is Radio NHCWX.